This video is sponsored by Texas Trophies, texastrophies.com. If we can't make it, you don't need it. It's also sponsored by Blue Rooster Customs. Check him out on Instagram. I put a, uh, his Instagram handle on the very end of this video. All right, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Okay, uh, I forgot I forgot that I was maybe gonna make a video today. But, um, this is a piece of half inch plywood uh, reclaimed. My sister-in-law needs a uh, office chair pad underneath the bottom of her office chair so she can roll around on the carpet without getting stuck in the carpet. She has one of those plastic rubbery things that that uh, she's getting stuck in. So uh, I told her I'd make her one. I found this reclaimed uh, plywood. It's painted black. So it's, it's a three by three foot uh, pad where the chair's going and then a little foot kicker right here. So I got my Forstner bit. And I'm making a hole here and a hole here to make the edges round. I made a little round thing right there too that I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm going to um, turn it over now and cut the rest of the hole. It got away from me right here, but I'm gonna round it over anyway, so you'll never see that. But uh, the trick with a Forstner bit is if you, if you go through and you get your hole so you can see it on the other side, you can go to the other side, drill through it, and then you have clean edges on both sides. So uh, I'm going to do that right now. I don't know how I'm going to do it though. Let's see. Hey, let's look at this 45 with Dennis. That is not acceptable here at Texas Trophies. You're gonna have to redo that one. That was terrible. I'm not sure, but I think I'll make that round over bigger. It's just a little not so big. Hold on, let me see. So, I mean, I think it could be bigger. I'm going to try it out on a piece of scrap and see if it works. I'll be right back.
that's on this. And I don't know if it's multiple layers or if it was it's just really tough paint, but it's on there. So um, my plan is to sand the black paint down until you can see grain and then um, uh, stain it like a red mahogany or something. So it's got a black and a red stain on there. Well, that's the plan. We'll see if it works out. If not, uh, sorry, Kathy. But anyways, this is a piece of uh, 80 grit from my uh, drum sander over there. And I'm gonna put this on the sander and knock some of this paint out. All right, wish me luck. Okay, well, there it is. It looks kind of ugly right now, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking with the, uh, the stain, it's gonna look better. Uh, you can tell this has been painted multiple times, just big dents. I guess this came out of a, like a, a golf cart, a utility golf cart that they used at the airport or something. And uh, I guess it just, they threw their parts and tools and stuff in here and doing what they were doing. There's a big scrape right there. You know, it's just the, the bed of a truck. So I guess they painted it over and over. It's like, I think it's like, uh, uh, I'll think of the paint in a minute, but it's, it's kind of rubbery when it's being sanded and coming off. It's coming off in little balls. So, but it's obviously been painted more than once, maybe three or four times. Anyways, that's as far as I'm taking it down. I'm gonna do a test, a uh, little test swatch of wood and see if it, uh, see what it looks like with the mo mahogany on it. So. I'm gonna do that and then I'll get right back with you. Alright, well here's my test swatch. Rounded it over. I sanded it out. Uh, we'll see what it looks like. Hopefully it looks good. We'll get the uh, red, red mahogany 225. 225. Give it a little shake up there. Make sure it's not settled down on the bottom. This can's almost done. It's probably got about that much in there. So, it's a little old, but it'll be fine. It can work out. Get this handy dandy thing here. Oh, it's got a little bit more than that. Okay, let's check it out, see what it does. I'm gonna get this edge first, I'm really excited about that. Well, it's pretty dark on this thing. Mm, it's pretty dark, I don't know if I like that. Let's try this part. Try this part here. Eh, it doesn't look too bad though. I don't know, maybe uh, I thought it was gonna be redder. Oh, we have this other stain here, it's called uh, uh, Pro Provincial 211. Let's try that one. Alright, let's try that one. It's a little lighter. It's not as dark. I was expecting it to be a little lighter and you can see the paint a lot better, but maybe that's not a bad thing. I don't know. I think I like it better than, oh, let me try Special Walnut. Where is the Special? Oh, Special Walnut. Let's try that. Special, 
special walnuts in here, but I don't think I'm gonna like it. I think it's gonna be uh, too. Well, maybe not. We'll check it out. A little more brown. I don't know. I don't know if I like any of them. Yeah, it just looks like doo doo. So this is. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some. Uh, I'm gonna put some mahogany in the special in the uh, provincial. Make it a little more red. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Cause this isn't what we use anyway, and we use a lot of it. So it's gonna take about that much to stain that board. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm doing. I'm mixing colors with stain, people. This is very high tech. Do not try this at home. You could end up with a different, cooler stain. I'll be right with you. Okay, so we take our, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Put that in there like that. That's probably gonna be enough to stain that whole board. And then we'll take some of this red mahogany right here. And we're going to pour just a touch. Oh, you know what I mean? I'm going to use this thing here. Okay, we'll take some of this about maybe about that much. And just go dribble, dribble. And that's it. I just want to get a little redder tint in that brown. Let's see if it works. Put this lid back on here. Luckily, I have one of these... Uh, Empty stain cans. Let's see what it does. We'll squeeze this brush out so we can get a true uh, color test. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm going with it. Whatever. Fix it up. Send it through. Alright. We'll be back in a second. Alright, well, here's the staining. Let's see. Let's see what it does. It's it's a little bit different on a bigger scale. Uh, you know. So, it's probably going to be alright. It might even be better than I thought. Let's check it out, though. I mean, I'm not going to toot my own horn yet. Let's see what it does. All right, well, there it is. It's uh, cut out, shaped, sanded, and stained. The stain didn't come out as red as I thought or wanted, but that's all, that's all I had, so it's all right. It's going to be good. Uh, the black uh, paint, you know, uh, I was thinking that it, it would it would show through, but I think the the grain just took the stain and did its own thing, you know. But it is what it is. I think it's it's going to be good. Um, so then the next thing I think, you know, you can find a, a piece of uh, wood and call it reclaimed wood, and uh, take a piece of something that someone else would look at as trash, and then you know do something else with it and you know that's all fine and dandy but you know sometimes you just need a little put a little a little pizzazz in it right there a little monogram k for kathy bam what are you talking about oh yeah so um i got this uh k cut out um it's out of, it's out of cardboard um julie cut it out in the laser room for me Yep, I'm a cheater. I work at a trophy shop and, uh, well, sometimes things work out for you. Um, so I'm going to uh, trace that K and then paint it in with some white and uh, it'll be finished. All right.
uh, I'll show it to you while it's being painted. All right, well, I have it all. You can't see it, but I can. Uh, it's uh, outlined uh, with pencil. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna paint this puppy in. So uh, the key to painting with a brush like this is load your brush up full of paint and just kind of you know get it to the shape it's supposed to be. These are old brushes. I've had these since I was well, I've had them for a long time. I've had some of these for 20 something years, but they still work. So it's the key is just to get that tip and just draw it in with a tip as as just like that uh, rooster if you're watching don't laugh at me my buddy rooster is a pinstriper and after I after I drew this I thought to myself man I could have just I could have just given rooster some money and he would have done it real quick but I can get I can get this one done. So, anyways, I'll be quiet for a minute and just paint. And of course, you know, if your brush is too big, grab another one that's the right size. So yeah, if you're looking for some pinstriping and you're in the San Antonio area, or if you're looking for some cool art and, and uh, uh, whatnot, look up Blue Rooster. He's on Facebook and he's on Instagram, Blue Rooster Customs. He's a good guy, real nice guy, real cool, laid back. Um, he's a fantastic artist. Check him out. So, this is uh, the first coat. It's gonna be, it's gonna be splotchy and strokey and stuff. So. You know, just you just gotta keep painting. And it'll work out. Two coats, it'll work out. This is uh, Kills paint. Kills is designed to uh, cover up stains and and stuff on your on your drywall, and it's it, it's a primer. What it is what it is, and it's white. This is a water base. They have oil base, um, but they both work really good. I've used them for a long time. You kind of want to keep your hands out of the wet paint. I already have one white spot over here, but it's going to be all right. It's going to. I'll be able to work it out. It'll be fine. See right there, I almost did it again. My dad taught me how to paint like this. He was a uh, he was a uh, Air Air Force. He was a. Uh, an artist for the Air Force for 34 years. Well, his latter part of the year, he became a TI, and a blue rope. But the, the beginning of it was he was an artist for the Air Force. So I got to play with all of his, all of his paint brushes and India ink and all kinds of good stuff. So he showed me some stuff. Thanks, Dad.
All right, I'm gonna let that dry up and uh, come back and give it another coat. And that should be it. This kills is pretty good. Flatten it out a little bit so there's no big, big brush marks that I have to worry about later. Well, there it is. All right, we'll see uh, when I come back. Awesome. Okay, second coat. Uh, it's raining on this metal roof, so I'm probably gonna start this off and then turn it off. It's, it's a little noisy, but um, uh, the uh, da, 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 the thing with paint is once the first coat dries, the second coat just kind of it just it goes on itself easier. So it's pretty. It goes a little quicker. Whoa. So all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna just do a couple of strokes here. There it is. Son of a motherless goat. I opened up that paint can and got paint on my hand. Blue Rooster would not do this. He would he would have um, done it correctly the first time and he'd be done already. So um I'll Well, there it is. Uh, it's all done. Uh, fun little quick project. Glad you guys came along and, and watched it to this far. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, share. Uh, appreciate you. Thanks for my 40 uh, followers. Appreciate you guys. All right, well, there's more to come. I got my lathe back. So we should be uh, turning wood. There's I have three, three going right now. Uh, but uh, there's two right there, one right there. So I'm just working on stuff. Uh, yeah, that's a long story. I'll tell you later. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.